Did I make it on time? I ran after I missed the bus. But relief is on the way. Was that a soda can? Everyone knows there's no food in class. Can't you kids read? Did the teacher really just do that? Uh, this day is really turning into a dud. My mouth feels like sandpaper. Hey, do I hear water drops? Uh, I wish someone would water me. Uh, there's water everywhere in here. Uh, I've never been so thirsty. Okay, I'm officially losing my mind. Is anybody even listening to me? Did you hear that? Huh, weird. Okay, I'm definitely not imagining this. Mm. Okay, you got me. What is that? Clever, huh? Uh, I'm gonna make one myself. Boom, baby. Uh, not quite. Start with your drink in the middle. And turn the tab like this. And in goes the straw. The key is to camouflage it with pencils. The can shouldn't be showing at all. See? Cheers to thinking outside the box. You guys! You gotta be careful with those things. Oh, hey. Whoa, can I? Okay. I forgot how delicious these were. Uh, can I try a green one? It feels like my birthday. Uh, just one more here. And this one too. Thanks. Where, 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 where did the sour bouts go? What? Sugar fiend. Brian. What? Oh, s sorry. You are on my list. I'd watch your back if I were you. Nobody messes with my sugar stash. You understand? You like that neck of yours, don't you? Uh, I'll go out and buy you more, okay? A little fear sure is powerful. I'll just munch on these till he gets back. Want your own personal candy bear? First, cut the head off and remove the fluff. Then, stick a jar in the neck. Apply hot glue on the jar like this. And stick the cut fur before it dries. It may take a bit of pulling. Once that's done, pour in your favorite candy or snack. Then glue the lid under the bear's head. It should screw right on. Brian's back! I... I refilled your candy bowl, Ellie. Then I ate it all again by accident. I've got more. See? Ugh. Eating out of a bear freaks me out. I think I lost my appetite. You're late, young lady. And you have a drink, which isn't allowed. Oh man, I just bought this! Hey, teach, sorry I'm late. Those hallways get a little hard to navigate sometimes. All right, move it along. Oh man, my throat is so dry. I really could have used that orange juice. Say, do you have a drink I could take a swig of? Whoa, Lily, why are you drooling all of a sudden? Hello? Anybody home? Sometimes when you want something bad enough, you'll start to see it. But as it turns out, Kevin knows exactly how to sneak a drink into class. To do this hack, take a plastic phone case and remove it from your phone. Once it's facing up on a plastic bag, take a sharpie and outline it onto the plastic. Once you've done that, remove the phone case for now and cut along your outline with a pair of scissors. Now you should be left with two pieces, see? Next, take a strip of wax paper and place it over the corresponding edges of your pieces before pressing a hot flat iron on it. Do this to three out of the four sides of the plastic. You should have what looks like a little plastic pouch. Now take a lid from a juice box like this one and put glue around its base. 
Before it has time to dry, place it into the small opening of that pouch so it serves as a little spout. Next, take your favorite drink and pour it into the pouch, filling it up most of the way. Don't forget to put the cap back on. Lastly, go ahead and put hot glue on the outer side of the phone case. Now stick the pouch right onto the hot glue. Once it's dry, stick your phone back into the case and enjoy your juice from your sneaky little hiding place. Need a sip, Lily? Oh, thank goodness. I thought it was dying. And if your teacher wanders on by, don't worry, you're totally covered. Yes, that thing is foolproof. The Mississippi River starts as a small flow in the beautiful state of Minnesota. Oh, I'm so late! Hopefully no one will notice. Ava? You're late! Take your seat. Yes, ma'am. <clears throat> Back to how you can walk across the source of the Mississippi River. You look like you got in a fist fight with a rooster. Hi, Madison. Uh… Hi, Ava. Poor girl. She needs some help. Ava? This is for you. <gasps> oh no! I look like a gorilla! Okay. Uh, fixing my hair will make it better. No. Still the same. Maybe no one will notice your face. Wait. I can help her. Ava! Look what I have. We have powders. We have sparkles. We have glitter. Even foundation! I'm your makeup fairy godmother! I just started with a pencil organizer. A piece of cardboard helps hide it in the drawer. Now it's time to pour in my favorite foundation. This drawer can hold a lot. It fills the space perfectly. Can't forget some red for the lips. Dividers for glitter and sparkles in the next drawers. Concealers in the top. Time for accessories! This can go here. Lip glosses in this space. Makeup brushes will fit too. Now to disguise it all. Colored pencils will hide all my makeup. Madison! You are a lifesaver! Time to start applying. Definitely need concealer. Foundation. Time to fix up my lips. Can't forget my eyes. Finishing touches! Oh, no more gorilla face for me! Thank you so much, Madison! Of course! Girls! Nothing is worse than when you don't have makeup when you really need it. Time for class to start. Oh, I need chalk. Do any of you have a piece of chalk? Nope. Not me. I've got this. Ow! My face! What is he doing? I don't understand what's going on. Just a little more scrubbing, and voila! <laughs> a piece of chalk, sort of. You can use this to write on the board. It might be gross. Oh, my face! All my makeup! Good thing we know some weird ways to sneak makeup into class. This teacher may be lively, but boy, is this class boring. Ugh. Almost dozed off there. Maybe a little sugar rush will wake me up. I'll just have some. Oh! Is that my hair? Or is it growing its own? G get back in there! Now what do I do? That's it! My notebook! Did you know this can be a candy holder? Start by cutting the cover with a blade. And follow along the ruler just like this. Now get rid of the square you just cut. Now take a plastic pocket and tape it behind the open cover. Grab your candy and slide it into the pocket. The more colorful, the better. Start at the top and work your way down. Yeah, just like that. It may look like candy now, but when you flip the book closed, 
it looks like a regular book cover. See? It's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Not to mention the tastiest. Mmm. And that, my friends, is the human body. She's done? Oh! Oh, stop. I'm blushing. The sun's rays are incredibly powerful. Time sure flies when you're having fun. See you after recess, class! You know what that means. Snack time! And I've got a fresh bag of chips for us! Barbecue's my absolute favorite! Cue up the cartoons, please! These girls are really focused on that video. Hey! Watch the bag! Oh no! Way to go, Maddie! How'd they get over there? We've got a major cleanup on our hands. But I think I know how to fix the problem. There we go! Pens sure are versatile, aren't they? In fact, I have a brilliant idea. Poke a hole in the bag like this. And you can hang it between your desks. Check it out! Pretty impressive, right? Are you secretly a snack genius or something? Yeah, something like that. Mm -mm. Recess is over, kids! <laughs> Chewing quietly… So quietly… Don't worry, she doesn't even notice! 